Okay, in this video, I'm going to begin a series of tutorials on thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. So, this of course will therefore be video number one, and I'm going to discuss now the meaning of temperature and heat. And this will be video one of two, because this one is going to be very vague and general, and perhaps very basic, whereas video two is going to explain this in terms of entropy. So, for that reason, this is, I suppose, aimed, it's, it's very general and very basic. So, let's first of all talk about temperature. Okay, what is temperature? Okay, so I'm going to say that temperature is the thing that is the same for two objects when they have been in contact for long enough. So, it is um, the same quantity when two objects in contact for long enough. Uh, oh, there's supposed to be a H there. For long enough. That's a very general description of what temperature is. But, you know, it's, it's actually a reasonably good one. So temper, temperature is the same quantity which two, ob two objects have when they have been in contact with each other for long enough. Now, you should immediately have some questions. You, see, you should be saying to yourself, well, surely this is a very vague description or uh, description of temperature, because it's definitely not, not a definition. So we'll say it's vague. And the reason it's vague is because, well, what does contact mean? What does, you know, for how long? What is the numerical value of temperature? Anything else we can think of? Well, uh, there are other quantities. Quantities. Which will also turn out to be the same. When uh, two objects have been in contact for what we say is long enough. So, we can see that this is, this is a, pr a pretty vague description of what temperature is. So, how about we look at it, and I'm not going to go into much more detail this time, because this is just a general description. However, when two objects are in contact for long enough, there, it, it takes a, the relaxation time. The relax, after the relaxation time, they would be at the same temperature. So long enough is the relaxation time. So you put a hot body and a cold body together, after the relaxation time, they have come to the, the property which they have uh, that is the same would be the temperature. So the temperature is the same for two objects after the relaxation time for those two objects has elapsed. And once the relaxa relaxation time has elapsed, we say that the two bodies are in thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium. All right? So this is one of three types of equilibrium. We have thermal equilibrium, we have mechanical equilibrium, and we also have diffusive equilibrium. So that's pretty much all we need to know about temperature for the moment. Temperature is the, is the property of two objects, which is the same when they have been together for the rela or they've been in contact for the relaxation time, and have therefore come to, as a result, thermal equilibrium. Now while we're at it, so that's, that's temperature. While, I'm, while we're at it, I'd just like to show you that there are three types of equilibrium. So, exchanged quantity, A-C-H-E-N-G. So, first of all, if we look at the exchanged quantity, and we look at the type of equilibrium. Okay, I said that there are three types of equilibrium. First of all, of course, I said there's thermal equilibrium. And as we'll see in a moment, in order for something to be in thermal equilibrium, the quantity which is exchanged is energy. So there must be an exchange of energy for the two bodies to be in thermal equilibrium. So that tells you that immediately there is a link between temperature and energy. Temperature and energy. And we'll see later that that means there's a link between temperature and heat. Now, when something is in mechanical equilibrium, the property which is the same for the two bodies is their volume, or the, the, the exchanged quantity is volume, we'll say. 
And the third one is diffusive. And when something, two bodies are in diffusive equilibrium, well, the exchange property is going to be their particles, the number of particles. Okay, so if we think about mechanical equilibrium, this could be the expan this is when expansion can, can no longer occur. So if you think about a balloon, a balloon is in mecha a mechanical equilibrium when it can be no longer expanded before it bursts. So it's now in mechanical equilibrium. So, and when we're talking about diffusive equilibrium, we're talking about mixing. All right. So, we're trying to come up with a numerical value for temperature. Well, I said that was one of the one of the uh, the things which we could we were not able to describe. So, I'm going to tell you that the the scale or the way we put a numerical value on it is by using something called the Kelvin scale. The Kelvin scale. All right. You could you may have heard of other ones. You may have uh, degrees cent degree Celsius, or you would have heard of degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, there are other ones, but they they are they're very arbitrary. The Celsius scale, for example, is well. We, what we did was we set the freezing point of water, and we set uh, freezing point, and we set the boiling point of water, and we said that they are. This is these are the the measurable quantities, and then what we did is set the value zero for this and hundred for this. That's boiling, not boiling, and that's the Celsius scale. That's very straightforward, and the the, the Fahrenheit scale is something similar, but I'm not going to go into it. But these they're they're quite arbitrary, all right. And the, the point is for that reason we use as well scientists use the 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 Kelvin scale. Now it isn't degrees Kelvin; it's just Kelvin, capital K for Kelvin. So, just to go back, we say temperature is a measure, okay, of the, the, excuse me, temperature is the property of two bodies which they have the same after they've been in contact for long enough. So I'm going to upgrade that temperature, that uh, description, to the following. So temperature is a measure of the tendency of an object to spontaneously give up energy to its surroundings. So when two objects When two objects are in thermal equilibrium, when excuse me, when two ob objects are in thermal contact, sorry, when two objects are in thermal contact, the object which spontaneously gives up energy is at a higher temperature. Now let's see, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. So this is our new description of what temperature is. We say that temperature is a measure of the tendency of an object to spontaneously give up energy to its surroundings. And when two objects are in thermal contact, the, uh, the object giving up energy spontaneously is said to be at a higher temperature. All right, so that is going to be our definition of temperature. We've upgraded the definition to this, okay? So it's we've related giving up energy to temperature. If the object gives up energy spontaneously, we say that it is at a higher temperature to that object which it is giving the energy to. Now the, the Kelvin scale, the Kelvin scale is as follows. When we look we we look at compressing gases, alright? So if we look at keeping changing the, the looking we'll say pressure and temperature of a gas 
and we keep the volume constant, we find that the, let's say, the, uh, the pressure goes to zero at minus 273, okay, minus 273 degrees, and, or that, that would be Kelvin, excuse me, and if we look at it on a VT diagram, where P is constant, it also goes to zero at minus 273. Now these are experiments you can do. But the point is that we call the zero on the, te the Kelvin scale, that's, sorry, the zero on the, Kel the Kelvin scale is negative 273 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's what we say. And we say the jump, so one Kelvin, this, it would say the difference between one Kelvin and two Kelvin is the same as the difference between one Celsius and two Celsius. However, instead of, say, their, their starting points are not the same. Zero on the Kelvin scale is negative 273 degrees Celsius. All right. Now, finally, I said I'm going to talk about heat, and this is going to be quite brief. We've said so far that temperature is related to energy, and we said that the body which is at the which gives up energy spontaneously is said to be at the higher temperature. So I'm going to give you the definition of heat. Heat is any spontaneous flow of energy from one object to the other object caused by a temperature difference. Okay, so it, it is it is a it is a piece of energy. Okay, so that means the unit is the joule. Okay, energy has the unit, the units of joule. Now this is very basic. I'm not going to go into any more detail. However, lecture or video number two, excuse me, video number two. I'm going to talk about how we actually get a proper definition of temperature and heat when we look at the entropy. So that is more of the the hardcore thermodynamics. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And if you're in a good mood, you might also click on that. Thank you.